off, I am back out front of my old stomping grounds. The beautiful Groveport Madison Senior High School right behind me here uh, in scenic Groveport, Ohio. It's a suburb of Columbus, in case you didn't know, if you're not from the area. Um, we came back here today because it won't be long before they are tearing down my old high school. They're going to tear it down in the summer of 2018. So I wanted to come back here and walk through the hallways one more time. And the reason why they're going to tear down my old high school is because they're building a brand new one next door. If you rode the bus to school, you parked out front and walked in the front doors. If you drove to school, like a bunch of us did, parked right out here in this parking lot, and the tardy bell, the final tardy bell rang at 7.55 every morning. So you had to be in your home room by 7.55. And if you were like me, you typically pulled in this parking lot at 7.53, parked, and then got into an all-out sprint coming up all the way across the parking lot. And you'd run in these doors here. And the attendance office was right inside these doors uh, to the left. And like Kim and Eva would say something like, You've got like 60 seconds to make it to your home room. Good luck. And I'd be like, thank you. Let's go inside. Let's go check it out. The cafeteria pretty much looks the same, doesn't it? We got our grub on and had some of our dances in here. And during lunch, we were always hoping somebody would do the breakfast club dance down one of the tables. <laughs> Back at Groveport Madison High School, my old stomping grounds here. Right here, this classroom right here was the hardest class I ever had to take here. It was POD. This was government class, was in this room, and Mr. Byers was the most difficult teacher I ever had. However, what I would find out later, he arguably prepared you for college better than any other teacher I ever had. As much as he and I clashed and just butted heads every single day, he loved debating. He loved arguing. That was his thing. But he prepared you more than any other teacher probably in this entire building. So he was that good. There's the office. This a little different. I suppose things are going to look a little different when you haven't been in here for years. Guidance office is still in the same spot. I worked in here my sophomore year. Miss Winchell, who was my kindergarten and second grade teacher, she was also the guidance uh, counselor for juniors. And when kids found out that I was working in there, they would always say, dude, get me a hall pass. Come get me out of class all the time. <laughs> Not that I would ever do anything like that. <laughs> I don't remember the lockers being red, but maybe they were. I don't know. And oh yeah, the coolest teacher in this building at the time, his classroom was right here. Mr. Collins, if you're watching this video, look where I am, Jack, right in your old classroom. And there are students in here now as we speak, but that was Mr. Collins' classroom. I used to sit over there against that wall. History classes were down that way. Um, there was English down there to the right. Uh, well, come on, let's just walk down here real quick. I had sophomore English right there against that classroom, right in that classroom, I should say. Uh, let's see. This classroom here, uh, American history, junior year, right here, was in this classroom. 
things have ch uh, changed a little bit. The desk used to be over there in that far corner. This student named Mark, who sat right next to me, oh, what was the teacher's name? She had blonde hair. Oh, American history teacher. God, what was her name? Let's just say she was a pretty religious woman. And Mark said something out loud one day. Well, basically, he just goes, Jesus Christ, like that. And she was like, what did you say? <laughs> and he didn't even know he said it. He looked at me after she got done yelling at him, gave him an after-school detention. He looked at me, and he's like, and I go, he goes, <laughs> well, I know I'm not the one you thought you knew back in high school Never going, never showing, never we had to I'm touching that we claim, don't tell us to behave I'm sick of always hearing that you rage I don't want to waste my time Become another casualty of society I'll never fall in Sophomore year, my locker was right in here It was one of these God, I almost want to say it was 378 was mine I won't swear to that, but in this classroom right here, Mr. Clark taught geometry, and I had him again my junior year for Algebra 2. Oh, God, one of the hardest classes I ever took. Ever took. Metal shop was in here, I think. I think this was the metal shop in there at the time. chemistry classroom right here, dude. Um, it might have been this one, I think. Let's walk in here real quick. It might have been this one. Jeff, is this where we had uh, Mrs. Yost's class? I think it was this one in here. Can't remember. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I haven't been in here in years. Just walking through. But I, okay. think, I think at the time I had chemistry was either in this classroom or in the one next yeah, door. Yeah, 90% of the time chemistry is always over here and physics was next door. Okay. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I wasn't both. smart enough to do physics. Yeah. So, but they, <laughs> this was the biology hallway at the time. You'd see uh, they had little alligators, tarantulas, and uh, boa constrictors. They had everything over here. Um, Mr. McSheffrey's classroom was right there. Um, Summerlot's classroom was right over here. Should we go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Oh, oh. See what's up up there. Red and black stairs, keeping that school spirit. If you're watching this video right now, you're going, oh my god, I remember that stairwell. Is that the color you remember? No. Still not the color I remember. I thought they were like every other color, like blue, green, blue, green. We'll go down there in a second. Let's walk into the library. Documentary. One more time before they tear it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's, um, yeah, that was Mr. Blagg's office right there. Um, do they still have the, um, is the AV plaque used to be right there with all the names on it from students that won, like, AV person of the year? As you can tell, the library's changed a lot. Remember sweating out ACT and SAT tests in here? Oh, that was brutal. I can feel it in the air tonight. Oh, so we couldn't find the plaque that had my name on it, or the list of names of people that won AV Person of the Year, but it was me. I won it that year because I was the tech guy. Yeah, you know what?
Good, and you? Good, good, good. All right. So is there a... Some of them say yes. I can't see want to on the way. Spanish was right in here. Mm -hmm. He's good. Well, he's not done. He's still... Probably still Spanish. Spanish. If I knew where to be. Yeah, he's a good thing here. Senior year locker. Oh, right here. So <laughs> It was one of these right here. I God, I can't remember. No, I don't know if you. Forty-eight, forty-nine. It was it was one of these right here. This is the upstairs. You remember this up here? Psychology and sociology were right in these two classrooms, right in here. It's open in here, but looks like there's something going on. All right, I'm going to jump in here with a voiceover because I didn't want to interrupt this guy's class while he's trying to teach. Obviously, this is our auditorium. This is where our school plays were, our assemblies. We had bands play in here. All of our talent shows were in the auditorium. And this is where our study halls were, believe it or not. Um, there were three rules to study halls. Number one, no sleeping, which was next to impossible because the air conditioning in the auditorium was awesome. <laughs> uh, there was no talking. They made us sit every other seat in study hall to try to, you know, curb the talking that we would probably do with our buddies. And only studying was permitted. Um, but Greg, Carl, Norman, myself may or may not have gotten away with playing cards in here regularly. <laughs> Alyssa, make a more physical choice when sleeping. What does that look Yeah, it looks like they almost have like a, a merch booth out here with like concessions and all that stuff. This used to be a wide open uh, commons area. Yeah, this whole thing didn't used to be here. This is just all a wide open hallway right here. Let's turn around and look at the gym here real quick. The home side was over there. This was the visitor side over here. They actually are preparing for a game tonight. I'm not sure who they're playing, but they do have a game here tonight. first high school in Groveport was at the corner of Walnut and Elm. The second one was at Naomi Court. The third one is still there. It's Groveport Elementary School, the old three-story building in uh, Old Town Groveport. The fourth high school was right next to Groveport Elementary. It became my freshman school and now it's Middle School Central. The fifth high school is the one that I was just standing out in front of, my high school. And the sixth one, which is gonna be the brand new one here in Groveport, 
is right over here. Check out this bad boy. And I mean, they're building it right on top of my high school. As you can see in this video, I mean, it is right on top of it right here. Those of you that haven't been here in a long time, I'm mean, how close it is. I mean, it's right next to it. And as you pan back over here towards the backside of the new high school, some of you might remember that that's where the tennis courts and the softball diamonds used to be. Go Cruisers, baby.